missing, we're missing somebody fairly important here. Uh, the lady on the left of that picture, uh, Joan of Arc, did uh, uh, yeah. she slightly was a, change she, she was a big nuisance. Um, <laughs> yeah, and it, and in a way, it was the beginning, the Battle of Orléans was really the, kind of the beginning of the end, wasn't it, for the it, English? It was, and Henry VI wasn't as warlike, and didn't have to be as warlike, because of Henry V, he was King of France. So he didn't have the same divine will to be King of France. His father had done it all for him. I mean, this and picture, it, it's, to me, I had, I'd never seen this before, before we did the book. And this is Henry VI of England being his coronation in Paris. 26th of December, 1431. And your family was involved with Clinton, John Holland, James Fiennes, were the people escorted this young boy to Paris for the coronation, which is pretty extraordinary, I think, to be crowned in both countries. Absolutely. And if you think back uh, to Duke William of Normandy becoming King of England, which he did, he was never King of France. But we now have a king of France and England, so one can say two fingers and, and touche. Um, we sort of d d did the better thing. When I say we, I'm talking about the Feinzes, not the Fienzes. Um, and just an example of how well the, fine, the Feinzes, not the Fiennes, did out of the battle. We, we were given six castles um, in all, quite a lot in Kent. And the elder brother, Roger Fiennes, became comptroller of the royal household, Henry VI, did very well, was a nice guy. But his younger brother, James, became a very corrupt sheriff of, of Kent and Sussex, had Hever Castle. Uh, he was so corrupt that Henry VI made him into Chancellor of the Exchequer. <laughs> um, no, I'm not sort of, at, you know, parallel with George, George Osborne in any way at all, but um, he did... Uh, just as much corruption when he was Chancellor of the Exchequer, and he, Parliament, under him, did not give Henry VI enough money to pay the British army over in France, who were doing their best against Joan of Arc, and later after she was burnt against other people who were doing pretty well for the French, and of course the Scottish were helping the French at the time as well. And at that particular time, James became unpopular with the army because he wasn't having them paid. A lot of them came back without pay to Kent, naturally, that's where they landed. A lot of uh, disillusion, and a guy called Jack Cade, and in the book I explain why it's quite possible that he was one of the poor of Fineses. Anyway, Jack Cade got them all together. About 20,000 of them marched from Kent, joined by a few from Essex, and marched on uh, London and the King, Henry VI. 